Hey guys. So, just picked up a Marvel Legends regular release Mojo at Target uh, last week. I lucked out, got him for the $42. I understand that's like a fluke, so I hope some of you guys were able to get him at that uh, a good price. So what we got here is uh, there's two different versions of Moto, Mojo, Moto, Mojo, uh, the regular release and the exclusive three pack or four pack, whatever you call it. The four pack has a few extra paint apps. Paint apps are cool. I like paint apps, but I don't really want to pay like a hundred bucks extra for some kind of minor paint apps. So what I did was I took this regular one and I painted him up. Did it over the weekend. Just finished him. Hopefully he's dry. And I'm going to show him off a little bit. So let's try and do a little before and after here if I can. Let's scoot you over here, Mojo. Here, get over there. All right. So here. Nope. All right. Good enough. And before and after. Let's spin you around here, Mojo. A little before, a little after. Oh, hey, hey, oh, yeah. There we go. Check it out. As you can see, the before, um, pretty bland. I mean, it's cool, but not a whole lot of detail. So I went ahead and added my own. Kind of went to town here, painted the whole thing. Um, where do I want to start here? Kind of want to show everything here because I know a lot of people like me don't want to buy, you know, they'd rather not have to spend a bunch of money on the fancy one. And so they're thinking maybe I can just add some paint myself, which I approve of. Let's see if we can get a little close up here. So, uh, yeah, let me grab this. So the originally his skin pallor was this, uh, really pale color, which ain't, it's not bad and actually seems to be comic accurate depending on what comic or cartoon you're watching. So not bad, but I always thought of Mojo as being a little more yellow. Also I wanted to bring out all the details. So I did this wash on him and you might hear my dog is barking in the background. He is going crazy. So this is how it turned out. I think his face turned out all right. Let's see how close we can get before the camera goes out of focus. Painted him up. Did his teeth, did that wash, brings out the details. As far as his hair slash wires coming out of his head, I know the the exclusive one has, you know, the red and the blue. Originally, I put the red and the blue in there myself, and I it was kind of, I thought the red and the blue was a little bit much the way it was, so I toned it down a little bit, a little less blue, did some more copper and gold and kind of platinum-y colors that I was just mixing up. Uh, a little more subtle. Still got a little red, a little blue in there. Not too crazy. I'm hoping this comes across here. I did not paint his tongue. I was thinking about putting like, making a little more red and putting a gloss coat on there, which I may still. I haven't done that yet. But anyway, I uh, did a black wash on the silver of his hair. Painted all black and then painted the silver and the other colors on top of the black, which gives it that depth, gives it the darkness down in there. So if you're thinking about doing that yourself, basically I painted everything other than his skin, I painted everything black first and then started painting on top of that black. Oh, maybe I'll throw up a little. Yeah, I got it before. Of, uh, here we go. That's kind of what everything looked like painted black. So. Um, what else? Sorry. Hopefully I don't ramble too much. I wanted to give, uh, you know, so his uh, little chariot, scorpion chariot thing that he rides on here. It's got a bunch of different components. I tried to give each component like a little bit of a different color to kind of, so they don't all blend in together. Gave the main frame of it like a bluish gray color that I mixed up and then highlighted that with some, you know, dry brush silver to make it look metal. Metal bro. Didn't know what to do with that light switch looking thing on there, so just kind of made this like platinum y color. I don't know. Uh, got his little lights on there. This other stuff, you know, uh, dark gun metal with some silver highlights and whatnot. Just tried to throw some color in there. Oh, and his spider legs. Uh, painted them black and then did like my own mix of a kind of a gun metal color to make them look metallic. I think they look pretty metal y. 
Turned out all right, in my opinion. The hose is coming off his shoulder. I just did a copper wash on the outer rings. Uh, as you can see, so I did, like I said, like the frame, I did that same kind of blue-gray with some metal on the edges, like silver on the edges, dry brushed, to give it kind of a worn steel kind of look. Uh, the inside part, I did kind of a dark gunmetal-y color and then put in all these other colors, hand-painted all those. Just to give it some uh, contrast there. In the back, got all kinds of wires going on, so painted those posts inside that kind of seemed to hold the thing up, like a, its own kind of gunmetal color, and then painted uh, all the wires and stuff silver, and then added some color. Uh, back here, got a few different colors coming on, like these uh, vents here, I repainted the, that kind of a dark gray, gunmetal-y, repainted that blue inside the vents. Couple different colors going on back here. These things, I don't know what these are supposed to be, but I looked at them and I'm like, I don't know, kind of seems like they could be jets or thrusters. Like maybe, maybe Mojo hovers and then those things blast off and you can fly. I don't know, but I kind of painted them up with that in mind. That's kind of what I was thinking. Let's get this side real quick. See, I just put random colors for all the wires and stuff going in here. Copper, silver, red, blues, different hues and stuff. I like mixing up my own colors. Uh, as you can see, painted uh, the stuff going in back there. Actually painted inside there. When you take this apart or before you put them up together, you know, you can see there's a bunch of detail in there. I painted all that up, but you can't see it. So, I don't know. I didn't go too crazy in there. Uh, also, no one will probably ever... Look at the bottom of Mojo. Mojo, yeah, baby. But here's the bottom. I decided, you know, why not? I'm already painting it, so I'll put some details on the bottom. So there's the bottom. I think it looks kind of cool, but like I said, nobody will ever see that. As far as his tail, his scorpion tail here, which is posable. I know I've seen some reviews, and like they don't seem to realize that you can. I mean, it doesn't bend or anything, but you can at least move it side to side a little bit. Oh, focus, camera, focus. So I did a black wash and then over top of that with my mix of like a, my bluish metal color and then did a dry brush silver on the edges. I might have went a little crazy with that silver. And then you got the little scorpion head here. I just kind of went crazy with whatever colors I was working on. I was, God dang it. This camera, I tell you, it's just my phone, so. Just put some different colors there. Tried to make everything, like all the metal parts, I tried to make them look like scuffed up metal, where I could. And uh, if you're trying to do this yourself and you're new to it, to get like a, a metal look like that, I mix uh, colors with silver, like silver and black, and that gives the black like a kind of a metallic look and then take regular silver and kind of dry brush it along the edges to where it looks like it's kind of scraped or worn and that gives kind of a metallic look to, to it like what I did here with this blue at first this was just a solid you know kind of blue gray steel color but then you brush on a little silver on the edges and it makes it look like worn steel at least that's what I was going for hopefully that's hopefully that's what uh, comes across. So, and I thought about with these legs, I mean they're pretty, you know, gunmetal, metallic looking. I thought about doing the, like these little joints, like maybe doing each of them like this kind of bluish color just to make them stand out, but I don't know, I guess I got lazy at that point and, and decided not to. But here is Mojo. Mojo, baby, yeah. Mojo, Jojo, Jojo. So I was experimenting with the wash. Like, I'm not an expert, right? And I wish I had a, an airbrush, but I don't. So <laughs> I use this other head. Let's put you down there, Mojo. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's rearing back. Okay. 
So I practice on this edge. I'm going to display them with that one. So I had this other one. I was like just kind of practicing doing some different stuff. As you can see here, I did a wash, and it was a little darker than the than the one I ended up going with. With, and when I was done with the wash, I took a dry brush and dry brushed on some yellowy color. And I don't know. I didn't like this as much. I didn't think it looked as good. So I think what I actually ended up doing there uh, on that one, <clears throat> I only did a wash. And I did not do any dry brushing on his skin tone at all. Whereas this one I did, and I liked it better like that without the dry brushing on. <clears throat> and I think that's about it. Um, so I didn't really do an actual how-to or anything, but as always, uh, if anybody's thinking about doing something, anything similar to this, and you have questions, I'm happy to answer as best as I can, trying to help anyone out that I can. Uh, one of these days I'm going to get an airbrush. That, I think, I'll tell you what, that would have made a lot of this easier, I think, if I would have had an airbrush. This is all painted on with with regular brushes and model paint, basically. Uh, acrylic model paint. I don't think it turned out too bad. Oh, oh yeah, I should say. <laughs> so I know that the exclusive version has like the liver spots all over. Um, I'm not a big fan of the liver spots. I don't remember him having those in the cartoon or in the comics so much, at least not to my memory. And I could have tried to like him I mean, and I could have hand painted those on there. I just decided I wasn't really feeling the liver spots. So I left those out. And uh, But tell me what you guys think. Also, you know, I didn't go crazy with the red and the blue in his his hair you know but you know let me guys <clears throat> guys let me know what you think uh do you like the liver spot look uh do you like the skin tone better should he have more bright red and blue in his head wires hair or is this all right i don't know anyway have a good one guys Talk to you later.